Little Wing, one of the most beautiful Jimi Hendrix songs ever, in the key of G. He said all he had to say in 2 minutes and 40 and he was gone. However, this does start on the chord of E minor. It is the relative 6th of G, G scale, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is an E, relative minor is always a minor chord, minor 3rd. The inversions, take the bottom E, put it up top, you got your E minor in your first inversion, bottom note, up top, E minor in your second inversion, and that's where I want you to be, here's why, here's the movement. Just drop your index finger, just do that again, middle finger onto the E minor. That's the first movement. The next movement, bottom two fingers, thumb only, down. Now here are the chords. E minor, E in your left hand. To a G. Drop your index finger. Both bottom fingers up to, to make this an A minor. And back, just drop your thumb and you're back at the E minor. She was E minor. Your index finger to the G. Ow. Bottom fingers and an A minor and your thumb. Well, now. now you know half the song. Now the other half of these verses runs like this. B minor 7. There's a B minor. There's the 7. However, put it down the bottom. Butterflies and zebras. And you're going to move the whole thing one tone down to an A minor 7. Moonbeams. And here's why I like these inversions. You don't have to go far. Just move your left hand, you got a C. A fairy tales. So let's just take that again. Uh, running wild from the E minor. Butterflies and zero. B minor to A minor. Seven. Dun, 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 dun. To C. And the last few chords, here they come. G. Da, 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 da. F C D So let's look at that second half before I teach you the end. B minor Butterflies and zebras Holding down a tone to A minor Your left hand only to C Find yourself a G, doesn't matter which one. I like this one and I'll show you why. G. Da, 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 F. Da, C. So, G. Whole thing down a tone. Da, da. Outside fingers. Makes it a C. Da, da, with the Everything up to D in the second inversion. There's the sound that gets you that. There are your leading notes. Now the way I like to play it, it's all on a D bass. You play it like that if you wish. There's only one more chord you need to know, and that is the beginning of the next verse, which starts When I'm sad. I like to play a D11 in other uh, an E11 in other words, a D on an E bass. However, you can 
make it a D plus 11. Has the 9 in there. Has the 7. The 11. When I'm sad, it comes to me. That's why you need that. There's the melody. She comes to me. To the G. And then we're back again to where the same as the first verse. So there are the changes. E minor, G. Outside fingers, A minor. Thumb only down, E minor. To the B minor seven. That's the one I like. A minor seven. Left hand only to C. G. F. Run with the wind to D. That's basically a C on a D. And there's the D. C, C, D. So if you like those chords, I do, I think they're beautiful. Learn them, get comfortable with them, get comfortable with those changes and I'll show you how to move it along in the advanced lesson.